a very good evening to all of you so today we will be understanding differential amplifier with a swamping resistor now in the last video we have seen that uh, the voltage gain of uh, the dual input balanced output differential amplifier or you can take uh, the dual input unbalanced output differential amplifier so for both this amplifier you can see we'll write uh, the voltage gain uh, this is the voltage gain for the input stage that is uh, balanced output uh, and uh, this one is uh, the uh, voltage gain for the intermediate uh, state uh, that is unbalanced output. Uh, so now in both the case this RC is a constant value because uh, you are uh, keeping it uh, uh, constant RC normally constant is not temperature dependent uh, this is also not temperature dependent uh, but this RE now how you have obtained the value of RE so RE is uh, VT upon uh, ICQ and uh, you know that this is uh, uh, voltage equivalent is the uh, thermal voltage and thermal voltage is uh, kt upon q so this vt depends upon the temperature so when the temperature varies the vt that is the thermal voltage also varies and this uh, changes the value of re and because of that uh, your voltage gain is going to change so it means that uh, your voltage gain depends upon the re variations and you need to make uh, this dependency uh, you need to remove this uh, dependency so how you are going to do that so in that case what we have done we have placed uh, the swamping resistor the swamping resistor or you can say that this resistor is going to overlap is going to uh, superimpose on uh, the value of re so what you will have to do you will have to connect uh, the re uh, re just in series with the emitter this is the emitter terminal of uh, the uh, first uh, transistor so to maintain the symmetry you will have to place one more re dash re dash this re and this re is different this one uh, for um, the understanding you can write it as re dash just for uh, the understanding purpose we have taken this symbol of re dash then uh, uh, this is called a swamping resistor now we will try to understand that how this swamping resistor eliminates the dependency of the voltage gain on the re so now uh, for that you will have to perform the dc and the ac analysis so when you are performing the ac analysis uh, uh, dc analysis you will write uh, the dc analysis dc analysis so in that case you will have to short circuit uh, these uh, sources and uh, these sources are removed either you can remove or you will have to place a wire so in that case this will be removed now then uh, then you are having only the dc voltages and the biasing resistor uh, so you will assume the right uh, dc current normally dc current is represented by the uppercase letter and uh, the ac current will be represented by lowercase letter so this one is ie then this one is ie i think we have done this type of calculation multiple times so ie ie this are these two currents are entering into the node and uh, so now the one current will be coming out from this and that will one will be ie plus ie this is twice ie uh, okay so now writing the voltage drop this one is plus and negative then you are having base emitter voltage uh, then again this one is plus and minus because the current is entering into the resistor so that current which is touching the first point uh, is always uh, treated as the positive now similarly this one is uh, uh, this one is plus and negative now uh, okay so rs1 into ib you have written this one is the voltage drop normally the voltage drop is uh, treated as positive then again plus and minus according to my sign conventions i'm not talking about the other sign convention the, then this is plus vbe and uh, you can see that uh, only the ie current is flowing through a swamping resistor so what i have written re dash into ie plus twice into re minus vee 
because minus uh, terminal is coming first and then you are having the plus so you can write this uh, uh, minus VEE -E as this you can I can draw like this also so in that case you can see that there is a voltage rise and according to our sign convention the voltage rise is treated as negative so after doing all the calculation you can see that uh, this IB can be written as I upon beta because beta value is very high fine beta value is uh, uh, beta value is very high so in that case IB is uh, nearly equal to 0 ampere then IC will be equals to IE so uh, what is IB IB will be equal to IC upon beta you can also neglect the value of this also uh, nothing uh, significant is going to happen there so or you can replace uh, this IC by beta by IE upon beta so we have done this fine IB will be written as IC upon beta and uh, as beta value is very very high then IP is uh, negligible and in that case your collector uh, current will be equals to your emitter current uh, so IE upon beta so now doing all the uh, simplifications and all you are coming down to this uh, IE will be equal to VEE minus VBE RE dash plus uh, twice RE plus RS upon beta now similarly you can find the value of collector to emitter voltage so what you can uh, what uh, you can see that uh, in this equation this swamping resistor is coming fine this swamping resistor is coming uh, this is uh, value this value is in kilo ohms uh, this value is in kilo ohms you can see that the um, kilo ohms and kilo ohms uh, normally the emitter current value is low in this um, in this configuration when we put the swamping resistor in the differential amplifier so normally the operating point current the operating current uh, uh, is having a small value so this will have to take into account so now uh, doing the AC analysis so after doing the AC analysis you can see here the RC upon RE dash this is a small RE which depends upon the temperature and this one is the swamping resistor so now you can see here now you can see here re dash is in kilo ohms and this is uh, re is in ohms uh, fine re is in ohm so uh, so let us say one kilo ohm and this is one ohm so normally one kilo ohm is very very high as compared to one so now this uh, voltage gain become temperature independent even if the temperature is, will vary so re is not going to vary much or you can say that RE will vary from 1 ohm to 2 ohm but normally it will not increase up to kilo ohm because of that temperature because we are not going to operate our, 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 our differential amplifier at 100 degrees Celsius this is this is not going to happen this is not uh, going to happen so in that uh, case you can see that uh, this uh, voltage gain becomes temperature independent fine the voltage gain become temperature independent but uh, the main problem which occurred now is that uh, this is in kilo ohm this rc is in kilo ohm rc is in kilo ohm this is in kilo ohm so the voltage gain droops down so voltage gain value will be decreased because of this swamping resistor this is the main problem of uh, this swamping resistor even if you add uh, the swamping resistor into this configuration what is going to happen the temperature dependency will decrease that is sure but at the same time your voltage gain will reduce so this thing we will have to take into account um, in this configuration this is all about uh, the differential amplifier with a swamping resistor you can see here uh, this uh, re is in series with the re you can say everywhere the input resistance is very high now initially it is that is twice beta beta is having a you know, beta is already high and you are having this re so high into high value would be a very very high value yeah one parameter is improving a lot that is the input resistance but what about the voltage gain normally in the power amplifier we are more, uh, more concerned about the voltage gain only not about the input resistance not about the output resistance the first concern is the voltage gain only and the first parameter is voltage gain only and uh, the current gain also so you can see that uh, this is becoming a uh, very low value yeah input resistance is going to increase and you know that the swamping resistor is added at the input side normally in the emitter side 
so this will not have any effect on the output resistance because when you are uh, seeing the output resistance you can see here this is grounded no because in the ac analysis we are uh, keeping ac sources only in this picture this uh, this two things this two um, entities will be grounded so in that case uh, output value will be between the collector to ground collector to ground i think uh, uh, this is uh, the rc this is the collector terminal okay you can see here this uh, this um, collector terminal is taken here and this is the grounded so grounded terminal will be here only so between the collector and the ground there is rc only so I think this swamping resistance is not uh, going to affect any output resistance of it. Your output resistance will be low only. It will be low only. But I think RC will be in 1 kilo ohm. So output resistance is of the order of uh, 1 kilo ohm in this differential amplifier. Let us see. So I think uh, this is all about uh, the swamping resistance. Uh, so we will look for some more... Uh, uh, improved topologies and will try to make the voltage gain independent of the uh, temperature variation or you can say re parameter variation okay then thanks a lot for today's class